Hello and welcome to Film Punk, the filmmaking channel without a slogan. Following from my recent How to Film Stuff video on clocks, I'm back with more clock-related shenanigans. How can a clock help your next film project become more interesting? Clocks in movies are everywhere, but what do they mean, if anything? Whether you're cooking eggs or waiting for the apocalypse, you'll need a clock of some kind. Clocks are not usually carried around on our person, but they're normally situated in one particular location, such as a mantelpiece or mounted on a wall, or even in a purpose-built structure. Wherever you go, you're never far away from a clock, whether it's a train station platform, right next to your bed, or on the wall at work. We spend a lot of time looking for and at clocks. We do seem to have an obsession with time. As it's the only thing any of us is really born with, it's not really surprising. So it seems logical that clocks should play a part in movies. Maybe your movie. My God, did that withered purple skeleton just speak? Let's see how clocks are used in movies. Clocks can be used with great effect in comedies. Whether it's bad or ironic timing or physical comedy involving the clock itself. With every swing of the pendulum, with every second, a man's life ticked away. Used correctly, clocks can incite fear in the characters and they can make the audience or the characters jump. They can be a source of aggression and anger or fear, depending on how they're used narratively. As is the case with Hugo, a clock could even be used for something as simple as the location of the movie itself, assuming, of course, that the clock is large enough. When dealing with tall clock towers, they can sometimes bring danger along for the ride. It would be nice if Christopher Lloyd was related to Harold Lloyd, but sadly, that is not true. Alfred Hitchcock once said, If two people are talking at a table, and you want to introduce some drama, put a bomb under the table. Of course, for the bomb to go off, it would need a clock. Save the clock tower! Clocks are used to add an imperative to any story. Whether the intentions are known or unknown, a clock counting down adds a sense of urgency to any narrative. The countdown could be short or long, it could be trivial or ominous, but when the audience is already aware of an impending time, watching a clock can be foreboding. The presence of a clock and its relevance to the story can motivate or even overwhelm a character, which can then be used to trigger a reaction and further the story. Whatever the clock is used for, it will always send a sign that time is limited. Using clocks in your narrative structure can help establish chronological guidelines for the audience to follow. Seeing the time in various scenes can keep the audience updated on how much time is passing inside the movie's timeline. The simplest use for a clock is to have someone tell the time in a scene or show the clock itself. This establishes the current time in the scene without any audience ambiguity. This would be especially important if time is relevant to your story. Showing a clock transitioning from one time to another is a classic way of showing the passage of time. A clock's hands whizzing around is another good way to show that time has passed. Showing a lot of clocks and emphasising them greatly can establish that your movie does have strong time themes. Three gongs. Last time it was four. What happens when it gets down to one? This will establish the idea in the minds of the audience and keep them alert for changes in time later on in the movie. Time being one thing that no one has too much of is taken quite literally in the movie, In Time. In this parallel universe, our lives and the time we have left to live are quite literally the currency of the day. In the much maligned Stephen King version of The Shining, a clock is used to transport Danny to an out-of-body experience. When someone dies, 
the time is noted somewhere from a clock. Clocks and death have been metaphorical companions for as long as time and movies itself. But not only does time march towards death, but also towards life. Time is often used as a metaphor for something which is unstoppable and unnegotiable. My biological clock is ticking like this, and the way this case is going, I ain't never getting married. A motif is an image or decoration that's repeated throughout a movie or a series. Usually it symbolises something significant. However, sometimes it can be more subdued, such as the appearance of orange in The Godfather before someone's killed. <laughs> The Grandfather Clock in Stranger Things Season 4 is a good example of a motif representing the evil of Vecna. When you hear the word clock, you immediately think of a standard analogue wall clock. Or perhaps a large clock on a train platform. Analogue clocks are definitely the most common form of clock, but maybe not the most interesting to use in your movie. As we just mentioned, the grandfather clock was used to great effect in Stranger Things. But maybe a little less common, a cuckoo clock is not only more visually interesting, but usually comes with an action and a sound, which can be used to great effect in horror films to scare the audience witless. The hourglass is believed to have been created in the 18th century in France by a monk. The sand slowly moves from the top to the bottom, in steps the size of a grain of sand. As the sand passes through the narrow neck of the hourglass, it slows down, and is a very good visual metaphor for running out of time, as the sand at the top becomes smaller and smaller. Turning the hourglass over to start a countdown is also a really good visual for any film to set the pace of the film and force some kind of imperative upon the characters. Sundials date back to Egyptian, Roman and Sumerian culture over 5,000 years ago. Powered by the sun, they would work great in an occult or a pagan horror film along the lines of an Ari Aster movie like Midsummer or the original Wicker Man. Of course, the only problem with a sundial is that it requires direct sunlight to work, which, depending on where you are and what time of year it is, may be a problem. And in the modern era... Who needs clocks when we all have mobile phones in our pocket? But digital clocks do still exist and take many forms, not just the necessary physical form you might expect, but also in the form of software, like the clock built into your PC, or a fancy pants clock like Iron Man might use. So in summary, clocks are awesome, and they have lots of uses within your movies. The main use, of course, is pacing the movie and forcing some kind of imperative upon the characters. So if you're making a movie soon, bear in mind that you might want to include a clock to add a little more tension and danger to every scene after that point. Revisiting the clock periodically will keep the audience on the edge of their seats as they know time is running out, as it has for this video. If you got value from this video, please hit the like button. If you want to stay in the loop for future videos, hit the subscribe button. Or if you're particularly nice, hit both. Thanks for watching and I will see you all in the very next video. Ta-ta.